Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, do me a favor, uh, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you like knife content, you have come to the right place. Let's take a look at the knife on the table. This is a Curtis Knives Warhawk. This is my first, well, one of two of my first Curtis Knives. Uh, this one was, so I got sent a box with some knives in it and some hot sauce and some other stuff from somebody who watches the channel. And uh, we opened the box and on the live, they told us that the Curtis knives were gifts. Now, I've been given knives before by friends, but never anything quite like this and certainly never anything by somebody who just enjoys the channel. Now, I don't expect things like this. I don't even really know how to process this gift. I've been carrying this for Oh, almost two weeks now, and it is a spectacular knife. Now, the other knife that we got is a Curtis Cruise that it belongs to Women Carry Knives, and that's out in the other room. But I just wanted to begin by stating my absolute gratitude to uh, Jason Guilfoyle for sending this along. There will be a link to his Instagram in the description. Please give him a follow. He is an amazing friend of the channel and very generous. And so here we are. So what is this? This is a full custom. It is M390 titanium, all titanium with G10 inserts that are just sort of married into the titanium and it is beautifully done. This is a amazing cutting tool. I'm still just sort of blown away by it. There is one little detail that is just, I guess, common on the Warhawks, not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, this is a proprietary pivot, right? There's no T6 spot. There's no, you have to have the tool for this. Now I'm lucky enough because I'm a knife nut and I know other knife nuts that somebody who has the tool has sent it to me. So I will be taking this apart to clean it and sort of check it out. Um, the other thing I want to mention before we get started is at some point in this knife's life, someone uh, resharpened the knife and gave it a monstrously large smile back here at the plunge. This is not how they come. But I'm not like complaining. I just want to be clear that as we look at what is basically a $700 knife, $675 knife, that when you get one from Curtis, they don't come with that big smile. What does it mean to me? Well, it means that this knife has been carried and used and it will continue to be carried and used. I don't have a lot of custom knives. I really don't. I've got, uh, I've got a custom DX2 that I like quite a bit. Um, somewhere I've got a custom uh, Hoback A10. I think it's in one of my bags. And I've got some custom fixed blades. I don't really do custom knives. I have other expensive knives. I mean, you guys have seen them. I've got sort of expensive-ish in in this sense, stuff like the Unamzon. And what else is handy? I and mean, I've got the Strider SMF. I have an SNG as well. And then of course, you know, I've got the ridiculous <laughs> and yet excellent Norseman. Okay. I really, really like this Curtis knife. It is very comfortable. It is nice and light. The M390 blade is hollow ground. There's a nice generous choil up here that you can get your finger into. The sort of neutral handle shape lends itself to gripping this thing any way you want. And this is a big knife. I mean, we're talking about nine and an eighth inches overall with uh, three and a little under three and three quarters of cutting on four inches of M390. And yet, because of how lean the patterning here is, with the exception of a fairly noticeable flipper tab, you know, even up there at the absolute thickest point, you're talking about an inch and a quarter overall. This thing sits in the pocket really well. And it is a nice thick chunk of M390. It's just beautifully done. It's got a milled backspacer, as you can see. 
the pocket clip is very common for Curtis knives. I think this will fit the pattern for uh, hinderers. It's the same screw spacing, but I haven't gotten into that yet to try it out. And why would I do that? Well, you guys know I like deep carry pocket clips, and this is absolutely not that. The build is fairly straightforward. It's just two screws in the back that uh, hold in the back the uh, really sort of small backspacer. Um, the interesting pivot. Now this is on ceramic bearings. They make a bunch, they, Curtis Knives makes a bunch of varieties of these. Everything from plain tie to fancier handles. Uh, the Warhawk and the Curtis Knives logo are actually cut right into the blade. That's not just laser etching. That is full on in there. It says M390 right there. Beyond that, it's pretty clean. I want to share with you the milling on the titanium and the way that it is done. I mean, clearly they sank this G10 into the titanium and then did the milling afterwards because the lines all match up perfectly. I don't, I don't know what to say, except that I'm super, super grateful. And what an opportunity this has been, because this is really a fantastic knife. This is one of those things where, you know, people are asking me because of what I do, and, you know, because of my collection. Do you have a Curtis knife? Do you have this? Do you have that? And for the longest time, I've had to say no. And now <laughs> I get to say something else. And uh, not only do I have one, but I have one that I get to carry and use and feel really good about. Now, there is a steel lock bar insert on the, it is a frame lock, as you can see, on the lock bar. And we're locked up at probably about 50%. Um, there is nice fine jimping on the back of the flipper. And of course, some jimping right here where your thumb lands. If you hold the knife this way, it's right where your thumb lands. I actually tend to come forward a little bit if I'm going to hold it like that. But because of this beautiful shape, right, there's a nice big flat spot for your thumb to land. This really is a remarkable tool. Let's do some size comparisons. I mean, you've seen it up against other sort of crazy expensive stuff, but let's do our standard tools. Here it is against the uh, Presidio 2 full size. And as you can see, the Warhawk is considerably longer, if narrower. Here it is against our old friend, the Bug Out. Again, the Warhawk is, well, it goes this way now, doesn't it? Right? The Warhawk is just a long, lean knife. Let's see. Here it is against the uh, full-size Griptilian. This is a fairly common and popular knife. As you can see, the Warhawk is much bigger. Now, mind you, these things are, you know, $575 is the price that I found them at, but that fluctuates depending on how you make it. But it's handmade. It's a custom knife. They are inevitably more expensive. This is just a beautiful cutting tool. God, I know I keep saying that, but, I, you know... I have a lot of knives. You guys know that. And this thing has spent a ton of time in my pocket because I'm just so kind of enamored with it. Let me reach over here real quick. This is the uh, Crooked River by Benchmade, another full-size knife. These two knives are very similar in overall dimension. Of course, this is a $240 you know, knife. This is almost a $600 knife. I think I said seven at the beginning. The Cruise is about $700. These are about $575. Um, but if you like knives that are this size, you know, you're going to love the Warhawk. And I got to tell you, if you've been thinking about getting in on a Curtis knife, um, do it. <laughs> The action on this particular one is very nice. It's a little stiff. I think that if I get inside here, I'll discover that it's really dirty on the inside, and I'm going to clean that out as soon as I can open it. The action is very snappy. Let me see if I can get it to flip out. Yeah, no, the detent is really dialed in. I mentioned that it's hollow ground, and I absolutely love that. This is really an excellent slicer. I have put this thing to work a bunch of times in the last couple of weeks. And because of the shape of it and because of the blade, it has just done everything I've asked it to. Well, let's weigh it, because that's something we do here on the channel. Where do we come in at? So 4.3 ounces for a 4-inch blade. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, looking at the inside... 
Use the light to be able to zoom in here. There is no milling on the inside of the scales. They could have saved a little weight, but it's so balanced. There's just sort of no reason to do that. Will I have more Curtis knives? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> Would I like to? Yeah, absolutely. Should you have one? Yeah, I think you should. If the style works for you, if the knife itself appeals to you. And he's got a bunch of other interesting designs that I'm just going to have to check out. And that is where we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. This is the Curtis Warhawk. Titanium M390 G10. You know, I suppose it's possible that this is micarta, but it sure looks like G10, and I can't find any specific information. If I find out that it is micarta, I will come back and tell you in a comment. But beyond that, that's where we are. Once again, sorry, this is the Curtis Warhawk. It is a fantastic custom knife, all made in the USA by a great maker who does great designs and given to the channel by an exceptionally generous human being. So that's where we land. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, this look at the Curtis Warhawk. I know I've enjoyed having it. This is a permanent part of the collection because I don't give away or sell gifts. This is going to be with me until, well, I guess until I'm done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.